welcome friends welcome to the session of alloy steels in last session we have discussed about alloy steels its classification its different types and effect of aluminum now in today's session we'll see designation how to designate steel may plain carbon steel or alloy steels so first type of designation system of steel is indian standard designation system so what it is so uh, you might have seen that fe250 one type of steel steel it is so what is this fe250 indicates first letter of e indicates it's a steel and 250 indicates the tensile strength of 250 newton per mm square that means whenever we use fe for designation and some numeral values 250 300 likewise so it indicates the tensile strength next case if capital e is added for the f e capital e and then we have 200 or 250 so what does it will indicate it will indicate yield strength of that type of steel so f e capital e 200 indicates yield strength of 250 newton or sorry by mistake it might be 250 it is 200 newton per mm square next example is c 45 again it is an indian standard designation so what does the c45 indicates so c letter is nothing but it is a type of plain carbon steel whereas the numeral values divided by 100 indicates the percentage of carbon that means 45 divided by 100 is nothing but 0.45% of carbon so c45 is a plain carbon steel with 0.5% of carbon likewise if we use t letter suppose we have an example of 8080t11 so what will it indicate tool steel of 80 divided by 100 indicates 0.8% of carbon and 11 divided by 10 so whatever numeral values after t we have to divide it with 10 that means 0.8% carbon and 1.1% manganese so it is a designation for plain carbon steels next example we have about indian standard designation system is if elements are or alloying elements are present such as max sulfur manganese lead phosphorus etc so how to indicate this suppose one example is shown over here 35 years 18 but specifically one underline is provided over here that means 35 will indicate carbon percent of divided by 100 means 0.35 percent carbon whereas 18 is nothing but the alloying element yes that is sulfur which is divided by 100 so underline will indicate divided by 100 so 0.18% of sulfur so this is the actual designation of this. another type of designation for this is nothing but suppose this is 1841 hs steel that means alloying element percentage is it is it is high speed steel that means T indicate to tool steel, seventy five red color indicates percentage of carbon divided by hundred. Next one W, no underline is there. That's why eighteen percent of tungsten. CR indicates chromium, no underline four percent chromium and vanadium of one percent. Next second type of designation of steel is AISI or ESE standard, American Institute of Steel and our uh, Society of Automotive Engineers system. now what it is exactly this system uses the four or five digits how it is we'll just check it suppose aisi and four numbers are there 1 2 3 4 that means first letter will indicate a type of steel which type of steel it is so which type i mean first means if one is there it is a carbon steel if two is there it is a nickel steel and likewise that means if 6 is there it is a chromium vanadium steel that means first in this would indicate a type of steel that is x brown color and now second blue color x is nothing but in second numeral value it indicates the percentage of principal alloying element that means what or how much is the percent of alloying element and last two red color indicates 100 times the percentage of carbon so for example if you consider this ac41040 uh, 
so what one will indicate now it will indicate the type of steel which is nothing but one for plain carbon or carbon steel and zero over here means no alloying elements are added that means modification of alloy that is no modification means no alloy steels are added so it will remain as a plain carbon steel and next one four zero underline indicates the percentage of carbon another example you say e5120 that means 5 will indicate chromium steel one is nothing but percentage of alloying element now since chromium steel so chromium will be added 1% and next one divided by 100 indicates the carbon percent similarly third type of designation system is british standard designation system now in this since during world war we have got this type of designation system actually it is en emergency number so emergency steel number steels are used so en8 en9 en10 likewise steels. so one table is provided over here that means for en8 type of material or for n9 type of material so what are the carbon contained what is the alloying element contained manganese silicon or sulfur phosphorus etc so likewise this designation will continue this is the last type of designation one extra point that is what is a super alloy super alloy is a high performance alloy which exhibits that means it has very high or excellent mechanical strength and resistance to grip and what one thing you have to remember about super alloy is it is osmotic face centered cubic crystal and what are the alloying element in that nickel cobalt or etc nickel okay. next one we have examples of this that is test alloy in canal vaspelin or iron alloys what are the applications first one gas turbine or high temperature grip resistant application since it has a fatigue strength Otherwise, it has a very good <coughs> solid solution strengthening. Next one we have specific applications aerospace jet engine turbine applications or specifically automotive applications. So thanks for listening the session. Good day.